Hello, Lee Anthony Davis here, recording live on my YouTube channel. I'd like to say thank you for tuning in. And before I start, I'd like to wish Jonathan Wilford, who's one of my members in the horror group, a happy birthday. So enjoy your day, mate. Also, if you didn't know, I appeared live on Mr Hyde's YouTube show as his guest last night, where we were discussing horror and there is plans to make it into a regular spot, like a series, for instance, where we will be discussing different categories of horror each week. So I will be collaborating in the next few weeks with Mr Hyde to create a basis for this to happen. So that's something to look forward to in the future. And I will inform you with the details when it happens. And also, I'd like to thank him for inviting me onto his show. In the first place, it was a privilege and a great laugh. So anyway, let's get back for the reason why we're here. Yes, you guessed it, it's the horror quiz. When I will be reading out the answers to the questions on the horror of Dracula. So, why you get your pen and paper? I will explain how it works. First, there are 20 questions. I will repeat the questions and the answers as well. And also, to add a bit of fun, you can give yourself one point for getting it right. That is the uh, qu question and the answer. Sorry, the answer to the question. And one minus point for any one you get wrong. So, are you ready? Let's play the Hammer Horror Quiz featuring... The Horror of Dracula with the answers. Are you ready? Here we go. Question one. In the film, The Diary of Jonathan Harker was written in what date and what year? I repeat that question. Obviously, uh, I've got the, uh, the wording and the rhythm wrong. I'll do it again. I do apologise. In the film, the diary of Jonathan Harker was written in what date and what year? Was it A, May the 3rd, 1883? Was it B, May the 3rd, 1884? Or was it C, May the 3rd, 1885? The correct answer is C, May the 3rd, 1885. Question 2. When Jonathan Harker arrived at the front door entrance, what was the object in the camera shot? I repeat the question. When Jonathan Harker arrived at the front door entrance, what was the object in camera shot? Was it A, a brass monkey? Was it B, a car? Or was it C, a cannon? I repeat those answers again. One of these possible answers, A, B or C. Was it A, a brass monkey? Was it B, a car? Or was it C, a cannon? The answer is C, a cannon. Question three. When Jonathan Harker picked up a paper note off the table, what was he reading? I repeat the question. So question three. When Jonathan Harker picked up a paper note off the table, what was he reading? Was it A, a shopping list? Was it B, letter from Dracula? Or was it C, a tax bill? I repeat those three possible answers. Was it A, a shopping list? Was it B, a letter from Dracula? Or was it C, a tax bill? The answer is B, a letter from Dracula. Right, moving on to question four. When the camera shot shows Dracula's family crest on the wall, what was written on it? I repeat, question four. When the camera shot shows Dracula's family crest on the wall, what was written on it? Was it A, I welcome you? Was it B, how much does a Greek earn, five pounds? Or was it C, Fidelis A Morten, which is Latin. I'll find out if anyone wants to know what that means, because obviously I don't but I have been doing research on how to pronounce it, okay? But I will tell you if you want to know the answer to that. Don't worry. Uh, let's, let's repeat those uh, possible three answers. Was it A, I welcome you? Was it B, how much does a Greek earn? About £5 a week. And was it C, Fidelis A Morten? Uh, the answer is obviously C, 
the Latin. Fear de les de les a mutten. <laughs> I had trouble saying that myself. Right, so that is the answer C actually. I'll find out seriously. If anyone wants to know, I will find out what that means. Okay, and I'll find out for myself, you know, just to find out, you know. It's always good to learn something, isn't it? Nobody knows everything. Right, question five. When Jonathan Harker sat at the table and accidentally knocked a metal plate, uh, metal plate onto the floor and picked it up, a beautiful woman was approaching him. Who was the actress who played that part? I'll repeat the question. When Jonathan Harker sat at the table and accidentally knocked a metal plate onto the floor and picked it up, a beautiful woman was approaching him. Who was the actress who played that part? Was it A, Carol Marsh? Was it B, Valerie Gaunt? Or was it C, Melissa Stribling? I repeat those three answers again. Was it A, Carol Marsh? Was it B, Valerie Gaunt? Or was it C, Melissa Stribling? The answer to the question is B. It was Valerie Gaunt. Question six. What position did Jonathan Harker apply for at Dracula's castle? I repeat, question six. What position did Jonathan Harker apply for, uh, for position at Dracula's castle? Was it A, a butler? Was it B, the toilet cleaner? Or was it C, the librarian? I repeat the uh, three possible answers again. Was it A, a butler? Was it B, the toilet cleaner? Or was it C, the librarian? The answer is C. He was applying for the job of librarian. Right, question seven. What was Harker's real motive for applying for the job at Dracula's castle? I repeat the question again. What was Harker's real motive for applying a job at Dracula's castle? Was it A, to get Dracula's autograph? Was it B, sell him double glazing? Or was it C, to kill Dracula? I repeat those three possible answers. Was it A, to get Dracula's autograph? Was it B, sell him double glazing? Or was it C, to kill Dracula? The answer, of course, was C, to kill Dracula. Question eight. What became of Jonathan Harker? I repeat the question again. What became of Jonathan Harker? Was it A, he became a monk? Was it B, he was offered another part? Or was it C, he became a victim of Dracula? I repeat those three possible answers. A, he became a monk. B, he was offered another part. Or C, he became a victim of Dracula. The answer is C, he became a victim of, of Dracula. Question nine. What was the name of Jonathan Harker's fiance? I repeat the question again for question nine. What was the name of Jonathan Harker's fiance? Was it A, Ethel? Was it B, Mildred? Or was it C, Lucy? I repeat the question again. Uh, sorry, I repeat the three possible answers. Was it A, Ethel? Was it B, Mildred? Or was it C, Lucy? The answer is obviously C. Who would want to be called Ethel in a film like that? <laughs> Right. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, I see. Uh, C was the answer to that one, Lucy, obviously. Only joking, anyone called Ethel. Question 10. When Peter Cushing made his entrance as Van Helsing, where was it? Question 10 again, I repeat. When Peter Cushing made his entrance as Van Helsing, where was it? Was it A, a house of ill repute? Was it B, the little house on the prairie? Or was it C, a public house? I repeat the, uh, the three possible answers to question 10. Was it A, a house of ill repute? Was it B, a little house on the prairie? Or was it C, a public house? Well, the answer is C, a public house. Right, we're moving on to question 11. And we're halfway there. What was the name of the place Van Helsing was looking for, Harker? I repeat again the question 11. What was the name of the place Van Helsing was looking for Harker? Was it A, Croydon? Was it B, Piccadilly Square? Or was it C, Clausenburg? I repeat the three possible answers again to question 11. Was it A, Croydon? Was it B, Piccadilly Square? Or was it C, 
Clausenberg. The answer is C. Clausenberg. Right, question 12. This one is actually a two-parter. If you if you were with me on Friday, you, you'll know what I mean and why I did it in, the, in this format. Okay, first part to question 12. How did Dracula escape from the castle? I repeat the question 12, part A. How did Dracula escape from the castle? Was it A, in a sports car? Was it B, a jet aeroplane? Or was it C, a horse and carriage? I repeat the three possible answers to the part A of the question 12. Was it A, in a sports car? Was it B, jet and aeroplane? Jet aeroplane, sorry, not in an aeroplane. Be ridiculous if he cut himself into two parts. Uh, and was it C, a horse and carriage? Yes, the answer is C, a horse and carriage. Right, moving on to the second part of this question 12. Where was Dracula heading for? I repeat. Where was Dracula heading for? Was it A, a two-week holiday in the Bahamas? Was it B, a cruise around the world? Or was it C, Karlstadt? I repeat those three possible answers to, que to question 12, part B. Where was Dracula heading? Was it A, two-week holiday in the Bahamas? Was it B, a cruise around the world? Or was it C, Karlstadt? Right, we're on to the most unluckiest question of all, question 13. Here we go. When Lucy became one of the living dead, what was the name of the little girl she enticed away from the Homewoods household? I repeat question 13. When Lucy became one of the living dead, what was the name of the little girl she enticed away from the Homewoods household? Was it A, Bonnie Langford? Was it B, Shirley Temple? Or was it C, Gerda, the housekeeper's daughter called Tanya? I repeat those three possible answers. Was it A, Bonnie Langford? Was it B, Shirley Temple? Or was it C, Gerda, the housekeeper's daughter called Tanya? Right, question 14. What did Van Helsing use on the undead Lucy in the graveyard? I repeat the question again. What did Van Helsing use on the forehead of the undead Lucy in the graveyard? I should have put that one in. I do apologise. So I'll repeat that one again just to make sure that you understood. What did Van Helsing use on the forehead of the undead Lucy in the graveyard? Was it A, a mirror? Was it B, a dagger? Or was it C, a crucifix? You guessed it, yes, it was C, a crucifix. Right, we're moving on to question 15. We're in the last quarter, as they say in American football. Let's go for it. Question 15. Who was Dracula's next victim? And I have to say, after Lucy was, the, was his last victim, so who was his next victim? I repeat that again. Question 15. Who was Dracula's next victim? Was it A, Gerda the housekeeper? Was it B, Tanya? Or was it C, Mina? I repeat the three possible answers again to question 15. Was it A, Gerda the housekeeper? Was it B, Tanya? Or was it C, Mina? Mina, sorry, Mina. She wasn't Mina. She was quite pretty and she was quite lovable and happy. So uh, I don't know why I said Mina. She wasn't that mean to anybody or to you <laughs> I know the jokes are pathetic aren't they right the answer obviously was C Mina right question 16 where was Dracula concealed in the Homewood's house I repeat again to question 16 where was Dracula concealed in the Homewood's house was it A the bathroom was it B the bedroom or was it C the cellar I repeat those three possible answers to question 16. Was it A, the bathroom? Was it B, the bedroom? Or was it C, the cellar? The answer is C, the cellar. Right, moving on to question 17. When Van Helsing was talking to Arthur, played by Michael Goff, how old did he say Dracula could be? I repeat question 17. When Van Helsing was talking to Arthur, played by Michael Goff, how old did he say Dracula could be? Was it A, 100 to 200 years old? Was it B, 400 to 500 years old? 
or was it C, 500 to 600 years old? The answer is C, 500 to 600 years old. Right, question 18. Here we go. Last three to go. When Van Helsing and Arthur tracked down Dracula to his lair at the castle, how did Van Helsing finally defeat Dracula? I'll repeat the question again to question 18. When Van Helsing and Arthur tracked down Dracula to his lair at the castle, how did Van Helsing finally defeat Dracula? Was it A, sunlight and two candlesticks made into a crucifix? Was it B, holy water and a wooden stake? Or was it C, garlic and fire? I repeat those possible three answers. Was it A, sunlight and the two candlesticks made into a crucifix? Was it B, holy water and a wooden stake? Or was it C, garlic and fire? The answer was A, sunlight and two candlesticks made into a crucifix. Right, we're down to the last two then. Question 19. What year was the horror of Dracula released? I repeat, what year was the horror of Dracula released? Was it A, 1956? Was it B, 1957? Or was it C, 1958? I repeat the possible three answers. Was it A, 1956? Was it B, 1957? Or was it C, 1958? The answer is... C, 1958. Right, we've virtually come to the end of this quiz. We're at the final hurdle, running up the final straight to the finishing post. Here we go. And it's a nice easy one for you. Right, here we go. Question 20. Who wrote Dracula? I repeat, who wrote Dracula? Was it A, Mary Shelley? Was it B, John Carpenter? Or was it C, Bram Stoker? I repeat the question. I repeat the three possible answers again to question twenty. Was it A. Mary Shelley? Was it B. John Carpenter? Or was it C. Bram Stoker? The answer is obviously C. Bram Stoker. Right, that's the end of my first Hammer Horror quiz. So, how did you do? Did you rise from the coffin, or did you get a stake in the heart? Right, there will be another Hammer Horror Quiz next Thursday and details will go out on Monday. What's next there will be, uh, what's coming up? Uh, oh yeah, uh, so I've got uh, another quiz in the uh, pipeline in about a few weeks time. I'm thinking of doing a science fiction uh, quiz. So that might be interesting because these two are doing all right. So I might as well throw a third one in the mix and see what you think throw it up in the air see how it lands and see what you think then so i'll be having a go at that one so anyway i'm really glad you had a go at this one and you didn't come at me with a steak <laughs> right okay it's time for me to go uh i will publish this uh video into my youtube channel and also this will be forwarded to me hammer horror page and horror group as well so my members could have a go as well Okay, uh, that's it for tonight. I will see you tomorrow night for my other quiz, the Doctor Who quiz, featuring the uh, the answers to the Keys of Marinus. So all it's left for me to say is, so sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite, and I will see you tomorrow night. Good night. <laughs>